Wait, no. No, 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 no. Is that the pet? Is that the pet? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Never is that the pet. Oh my fucking god. I need to get out of here. You have to be kidding me, please. Oh my god, the way people are grassing, I think it is. We got the little wire pet. Little wire. <laughs> oh my god. That's my first oh, that's my first boss pet. Oh shit. Oh, we need to check this out. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. That's amazing. I can't believe I've just got that. What is the kill count? 53 KC. I don't even have any of the like the, the drop enhancers through the reputation or anything. <laughs> Holy shit. I was just caught with the winner of the bonus from the last episode, Purple Ones. Congratulations, dude, and enjoy. There's 86 attack just coming in on this uh, Hellwire task here. Stole that adrenaline. Didn't unlock anything for that, but nice. I've decided to start training um, attack and strength at the same time now, so the levels should be, like, pretty close. So total loot for 14 Hellwire kills was 2.1 mil, and the pet. Not too shabby. There we go, that's the Eyes of Glyphry complete. We get 12,000 magic experience, 2,500 wood cutting, 6,000 runecrafting, 250 construction, a mysterious small crystal seed, and the ability to use crystal singing bowls. That's the path of Glyphry done. That's 30,000 strength experience, 20,000 slayer, 5,000 thieving, 5,000 magic, access to the poison waste slayer dungeon, and it's spirit tree. And we also get a nice little slayer level out of that. That's 87 slayer. There we go, that's a nice little quest. Tower of Life, just finished that. 1,000 construction XP, 500 crafting, 500 thieving, builder's costume, and access to creature creation. There we go, deadliest catch complete. We get 70,000 fishing experience, 26,000 hunter, 8,000 thieving, access to eight new deposit boxes across Gilnor, and we can talk to Jones for worldable small and big cast nets, which are pretty useless, I think, because you just have them on the tool belt. And um, we have the option to hunt Thalassus 10 more times for a total of 46,000 hunter experience, which is actually a master quest cake requirement, so we'll get that done at some point, but I'm not going to do it straight away. And with that as well, we just got a fishing level. There's 83 fishing. Didn't unlock anything. There we go, that's the Prisoner of Glyphry complete. That's a one quest point, 60,000 thieving XP, 60,000 agility, 50,000 construction, 45,000 runecrafting, that's nice. A new glider at the tree, known village, free spirit tree seed storage with Galana, and the ability to plant up to two spirit trees at a time with 86 farming, which is not bad, we actually have that requirement, so could probably use one of them somewhere for a clue step or something like that. Let's finish that, we should get some levels. Oh, halfway there, 92 agility, nice. We can either put Fast Matis Low Wall Shortcut, and we've just got 72 runecrafting, which allows us to make Armadil runes after the Ritual of Mardrock quest. I think next up is um, bringing home the bacon, and then we can crack on with the uh, Elven Task set. There we go, let's bring in home the bacon done. We've got a quest point, a measly 350 farming experience, 350 construction, 350 summoning, the ability to cook and stack bacon, ability to summon three types of pig familiars, we get a customizable pig pet, access to pig pens, weekly bacon or familiar reward from Eli the Bacon, and the song Glutton for Nourishment. Okay, we just got 86 strength here at um, Vindicta. We can do the combat ability frenzy. Oh, boom. We just got a dragon rider lance. Get in. My drop as well. That's a nice split. That's like 12 mil each. Fucking sweet. There we go. That's 102 virtual um, hit points coming in. Having uh, quite a good hour here, actually. I'm here with uh, with Scrub My Lord, also known as Argonaut from the Discord, and Neil. And we're having a uh, good chat on that. Enjoying a bit of Vindicta. It's so easy in a trio. We're getting like probably 25 second kills at the most. Like we'll just, um, for example, run you through one now. Sure, I overload. Just see how disgustingly quick this is. Really nice if you get a group for this. It's 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 very chill. You just need one guy to tank with melee, and the rest probably just range. We'll put down our death swiftness here. Take our ring of vigor off. We'll just work at it, building up some adrenaline. I don't have any adrenaline pots. So I really need to get some, but hmm, not too bad. There you go. That's a kill. <laughs> pretty pretty very fast. Very fun. That's our hour up, and we were just short of 8 mil in total loot. Let's chuck in the Dragon Rider Lance. Oh, 44 mil. I'm going to sell all this now and split it up. Okay, that's everything sold, and that works out at 14.75 mil each. And uh, Neil wanted to keep the uh, magic logs because he needs them for 99 fire making. So I'm going to give him a cut of 14.4 mil on the magic logs and then split the rest between me and Scrublord. Love that name, by the way. So I've decided to have a bit of a clean out in my bank. I'm going to get rid of pretty much everything in this loot tab. I mean, there's not a great deal of loot in here. There's not too much, to be fair. Um, a lot of my other loot's like scattered. Like I've got like, 353 tow flaxes. 
137 dwarf weed, 550 uh, lantern dimes, and um, loads of odd pots and stuff. Stuff I could probably use at some point, but I'm just going to sell everything to see how much I have to even get any upgrades, or if we're close to an upgrade, then we can uh, start working towards something, because I'm thinking about trying to work um, towards a T90 weapon for um, ranged. Maybe an Oxbow, maybe Ascensions. We're going to see how much money we've got and uh, which one the best is to work towards. just want to point this one out. Look at the state of the mines. Sold for 5.7 mil, just 375 of them. That's ridiculous. Another strange one here as well. Yak Milk, supposed to sell at 325k, which is medium. It just sold for 1.5 mil for 34 of them. So they are way above at the moment. So that's pretty much everything sold. Leaves with 76 mil. I'm going to purchase Nightmare Gauntlets for now. We're going to go to next, but I think the weapon I'm going to save up for next is um, a Noxious Lombo or maybe Ascension. I think that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to go for a tier 90 plus weapon. So a long way off that yet, so hopefully we get lucky at next and get a few drops. But we are massing, so there will be, uh, we will be splitting. So you never know. We need to get probably like five or six drops because <laughs> there's probably going to be like five plus of us. But yeah, it'll be good. I'll show you some highlights of that as well. I'll record it while we're there. So uh, you'll get to see um, me suck at next. Unfortunately, due to my error, I didn't record the Discord chat. So I lost a lot of funny clips, a lot of good moments with everyone in Discord whilst doing this next mass. Um, so kind of gutted about that. So we don't have any actual highlights as such. We did over three days. We did three trips to next. So we did three hours and we got zero uniques. A couple of Onyx Bolt drops and the rest pretty much Bruise Restores and good old Stone Spirits. It wasn't really worth it, but it was still fun. I'll definitely do it again. I'm trying to sort out a best way to sort of do these masses in terms of sharing loot. It's quite difficult with so many people. Um, I think in future we're just literally going to stick loot share on and then split the main drops as um, that's probably the most fair way when I come to think of it. It's quite... It's quite hard doing three hours of next and not seeing any drops if you've got bad LSP, stuff like that. But it's kind of the, the, the best way to do it, thinking about it. I thought about coin share and stuff like that, but yeah. We're just going to stick with loot share in future, where you can see my um, horrific uh, attempts at these kills here. It's a good job I had six, seven other people with me, because I'm sure of hell would have struggled on my own not doing it in a duo or a trio. But we managed to get the kill down every time and did uh, pretty quick kills. Some people had quite a few deaths, but it was funny. It was definitely worth doing. Like I said, 100% will go back again. And a big thank you to everybody who attended this event. I really appreciate it. And if you want to be involved in future ones, just join the Discord link below. We also went and did a little KK mass as well. And as you can see below, Antonin got a offhand drag or rapier. Not a bad drop. There we go, 92 farming. Halfway there to 99. And best thing about this now is we can raise and breed dragons. So I have seven in the bank. Some of them have been donated to me by some friends. So thank you very much for them. And uh, I'm going to go and um, get these out. I'm going to sort out all my pens. I've still got some yaks in there. I'm going to put the dragons in my breeding pens as well. So that way we're always going to get um, some extra dragons just to uh, stick in the pens ourselves. Save us a bit of money in the long run. And that's the last one. We've filled all our pens with eggs. So we're going to check back in a week from today. And these should all be ready. I need to um, start going over to the ranch out of time now and start getting that sorted. So I'm going to save up a few beans and then um, just so I've got enough to get everything built. And then we'll um, crack on with that. So hopefully get that done in the next few days. So we've just finished the easy elven task sets and we've got our Taranwin Quiver 1. We get an antique lamp. We're going to put that. We're currently working on Dungeoneering. So 10k in Dungeoneering. We're trying to get 90 so we can then go for the... Um, Adrenaline Urn. So the Tramwing Quiver is going to allow us to store up to 20,000 of any ammunition inside of it. And um, we also get unlimited teleports to Lulettia and Alun's location. 5% of tortoise shells dropped by warped tortoises will be noted. And it also acts as a crystal chime against warped monsters. And also we no longer fall in the annoying little leaf traps which are uh, around here. Okay, so that is the medium task system done now. That wasn't too bad, it didn't take too long. We're going to whack this in Dungeoneering, and I think that's a Dungeoneering level. Yeah, there's 88. Didn't unlock anything this time. So we've got the upgraded uh, Tyranwin Quiver. We've got the Tyranwin Quiver 2 now. We will no longer fail trip wires around the uh, Tyranwin area. Damage increased by 5% to shadow creatures in Priftiness. We have an additional unlimited teleport locations, which are the Poison Waste Slayer Dungeon and the Tyrus Camp. If you right-click this, click Teleport. I get two extra little teleports here. We've got the Poison Wastes, Lilletia, 
Elund and the Tyrus camp. You can unlock the Elf camp, Mushroom Patch, Death Altar, and the Harmony Pillars, which is pretty nice. We also have access to the Mushroom Patch between the Tyrus camp and the Poison Waste. And Gremwalls no longer require bait. The Gremwall being the Gremwall one for me probably is the best one out of all of them unlocks. To be fair, as um, catching Gremwalls without bait is uh, pretty nice. So it looks like these are a little bit time gated. The hard ones. So I'm going to have to do these just over the next uh, few days when I come to Prif and when I notice that the hour's changed. I'll try and keep an eye on it as much as I can, try and do it as fast as I can. But uh, yeah, as you can see, during the Kadan voice of Seren, use a crystal bow to damage a Kadan elf. During the quest voice of Seren, cut a magic log in the Chris area. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that just bit by bit, but it's not too bad. The rest of them I'll just do now and then I'll uh, do the voice ones when I can. Time to siphon off Pernix and this should, if I've done the mask correctly, Get us a level. Yeah. 85 invention. Don't unlock anything this time. I'm pretty close to level 12 on a few other items in the bank as well. So hopefully get to like 86 or 87 once we level them up, which will be nice. Boys. Nice. 823k. 18 blunt salvage and some black stone hearts. Take that. Yeah. Fuck off. Oh, I ran into the wrong. Bam! Hey, I picked up someone's boats. <laughs> 165k didn't pay for the 2.4 million deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fucking noob. There we go. Death to the Dogushin complete. That's a quest point. A 2k combat XP lamp, 2k thieving XP lamp, access to the ham storerooms and access to Dogish Khan. I'm going to start working through all of the um, Goblin quest series now. Try and get all that done, and then we'll move on to the Mighty Fall. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to then teleport to Gob Wars, and it's just going to make things much easier there. We can do proper next runs then, which would be super fun. We can start learning that boss, because it, uh, for the few uh, hours I did of a, of a mass, it was really fun. And that's the Giant Dwarf complete. We're going to get 2,500 crafting experience, 2,500 mining, 2,500 smithing, 1500 fire making, 1500 magic, 1500 thieving. The ability to complete tasks for a dwarven mining company, ability to use dwarven minecarts, and access to members' gravestones. The reason we're doing that is because this is a prerequisite quest for another slice of ham, which we are going to get on with next. We got a classic villain with a hostage on the train track situation. That was a pretty fast quest. Another slice of ham done, 3000 mining experience, 3000 prayer experience. We got the ancient goblin mace. We now have use of the Dogish Khan. To Keldergrim train route and the ability to buy Goblin Village teleport spheres from Oldak. Yeah, that was a nice little quest. Land of the Goblins done. 3000 agility experience, 3000 herb lore, thieving, fishing, strength, 2000 prayer XP, ability to buy plane of mud teleport spheres, ability to make goblin transformation potions, and the ability to use the altar in the Goblin Temple. Not bad. And we've also just passed 225 quest points, so we can go and visit May and get another little reward. So next up, that just leaves the Chosen Commander, which is the last in the Goblin series. So we're going to go and get that done in a second. Okay, so we've got a tier 3 dice now. I think this is the first tier 3 dice that we've ever had. Let's roll it and see what we get from this little bad boy. We get a mil coins and a nice fortunate component. 1.4 mil. Not bad. And there we go. The last of the Goblin quests. The Chosen Commander. 3 quest points, 20,000 agility experience, 20,000 thieving. 20,000 strength, we get Xanix Crossbow, the ability to buy teleport spheres from Oldak to Bandos' throne room, and the usual two treasure hunter keys. I did enjoy that quest series, it was pretty nice. This kind of sets us up now nicely for the next episode, where we'll be looking at doing the Mighty Fall, which is just going to give us a nice, easy teleports to God Wars Dungeon, makes next runs so much better, so we can start getting into a bit of next, doing some duos and trios with friends, and hopefully getting some good drops, and then we can start upgrading our gear. I really want to get some tier 90 weapons and uh, maybe upgrade the subjugation robes to Virtus. So that way we've got a minimum tier 80 power armor for all three styles. And while we're here, we're going to commit to learning the goblin technology tree line for invention. This is going to give us access to the Oldak coil and it's going to give us access to, I think, the monkey mind control helmet as well, which is uh, basically a free butler for your player owned house. So it makes construction a little bit cheaper. Let's just look at some good ones here to point out. Um, the mechanized chin chompers, a bank stander, which is a consumable device that generates charge whilst you're stood in a bank area, uh, the monkey mind control helmet, as mentioned before, electrified box traps used for hunter, and the old act coil. So each day you basically get different tasks over on the notice board here. I'll just show you here. 
This is it, you click tasks, select which one you're doing, so we're currently doing goblin. And our task for today is to hand in 80 simple parts. So we select that. And there we go, congratulations, you completed the task, you've been awarded 15 goblin currency. And obviously we go over to the technology tree line here and we have 15 currency. We're going to need, so we could unlock these straight away, um, pestiferous components. So allows you to use pestiferous components on a gizmo. We'll just purchase them straight up because I want to complete all of these. And uh, the next thing we're going to go for is the mechanized chin chompers. So we'll come back here tomorrow, make sure we keep up with this little daily and we'll fill all that tree out and unlock all the cool things. Let's pick a bond winner from last episode's giveaway. And let's see who's going to win that coveted bond. 98 unique commenters. Wow, so much response on that last video. I really appreciate it. But our first winner is Sean Hudson. All right, you convinced me to finally try my to Love your videos, man. Your RSN is cools421. Congratulations. Add me in game and I'll add you and I'll sort you out with that bond. As always, guys, this episode is a giveaway. So do comment down below with your RSN. Say whatever you want. Tell me what you've been up to. And you could have a chance to win a bond in the next episode. And that pretty much wraps up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to join the Discord channel. The link to the server is below. We do plenty of events in there. Plenty of people that are really nice, helping everyone out. So if you ever need any advice, help with the game, anything like that, just ask in the Discord and there's always somebody to help you. And if you're not subscribed, do think about clicking that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.